Jovians, welcome to the very first day of 25 days with Mr. J. We will be having a video every single day of this month all the way up until Christmas. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite red lips and I thought it's just perfect and fitting for the season because this is the season of red lipsticks. Please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a little thumbs up action and do not forget to tune in to my channel every single day of this month. It's gonna be a difficult one but we're gonna do this. Let's get started. I want to first talk about these five bullet lipsticks that I have in my collection and on my lips is a beautiful Corally red matte shade from Deborah Milano called 01 matte in atomic red this is a very long lasting very beautiful very matte shade but as the day goes by it does get a little drying on the lips next up we have this gorgeous cool tone red lipstick from fashion fair and this is the shade called red tone I love these kind of shades on all skin tones it just makes your teeth look whiter it just makes you look put together it looks good on any outfit any occasion during the day during the night it's always beautiful by the way guys we are packing and moving houses which is why if you can hear some sound <laughs> the packing and moving is going on on the other end of the house but i wanted to get this video up for you guys so we are filming we're braving through it all no matter what <laughs> it's so super pigmented one swipe and you get this beautiful power pigment on your lips and it's very comfortable wearing it does not dry your lips out also if you like this makeup tutorial i'm kind of feeling it i shall make a video for you <laughs> Next up, we have a very beautiful brownie red shade from Soap and Glory. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker lipstick in the shade Why Not. It is certainly a very much darker shade than a pow pow in your face bright red lipstick. But it still falls in the red lipstick category and I think it's very very beautiful if you want to tone it down a bit but you still want to have a take on red. It is very comfortable on the lips. Soap and Glory lipsticks are available in Boots pharmacies all across. Middle East I believe that's the case with all over the world or maybe you can buy it even from online I'll have all the links that I can find listed down in the description box if you want to buy any of these lipsticks next up we have this gorgeous matte lipstick from Lotus Cosmetics and the shade name is called Maroon Mash the Lotus lipstick is just so sleek this is I believe their new packaging and it is gorgeous but the formula itself is slightly dry and chalky you have to really work at it to get it on your lips but once it's on your lips it's beautiful as you can see and it lasts a very long time as well it really reminded me of max ruby woo even the color actually if you are looking for a beautiful red lipstick on a budget especially if you are cruelty free if you are in India you want a dupe of max ruby woo get this one from Lotus Notice. On my lips, I have this very attractive red orange shade called Sunset Orange from Bobbi Brown. By the way, all the brands I'm mentioning in this video are cruelty free unless I mention that they are not. And Bobbi Brown is not a cruelty free brand. But speaking about this lipstick itself, it is a very creamy traditional bullet lipstick, satin finish. It goes on the lips very comfortably, stays on the lips very comfortably and it's very average when it comes to the staying power of the lipstick itself. And this is what it looks like. It's one of those red orange power statement lips kind of a lipstick. On my lips I have a fuchsia pink kind of a red and this is from NARS and it's called Let's Go Crazy from their Velvet Matte Lip Pencil Collection and this is a very 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 famous collection because NARS lip pencils are very long lasting very comfortable on the lips and all the colors are very beautiful. They also have a pure red color called Cruella and talking about the brand itself NARS was a cruelty free brand until a couple of months ago it's not cruelty free anymore and this is something that I got when they were cruelty free but anyways guys talking about the lipstick itself it's beautiful i love the velvet matte finish of it it's very unique and it's very beautiful oh how beautiful is this this true blue red is from sugar cosmetics from their matte as hell line and this one is called cherry darling i have an entire video of this guy's review with swatches of all their shades and everything so i have another shade here which i want to talk about it's called poison ivy so if you'd like to see how it looks like on my lips guys check out this video right here because i've already swatched it this is a slightly more whiny tone what i've got on my lips Right now cherry darling is just true blue red as you can see from here 
before we move into the liquid lipsticks let me quickly talk about the only one red lip gloss that i have in my entire collection and this one is the read my lips lip gloss from the balm and the shade is called hubba hubba the balm lipstick names are just out of this world actually they all their names are really really fun and this is exactly what you'd want to invest in if you love red lips but you're just not daring enough to have a red pout yet a lip gloss is the right way to go it has a very nice taste as well very minty if you will not really minty but it's got a very interesting taste and smell if you have to ask me my go to red lips my one red lipstick that i'm going to pick from all of the lipsticks i'm showing you today it will be this one from charlotte tilbury this is their new hollywood line and this shade is called siren this is a liquid lipstick and it has a beautiful thick velvet formula but it comes with a very different doe foot applicator and i am not so sure about how i feel about the applicator itself it's got a little indent in there which is supposed to fit your lips but it's a little I, I prefer the traditional applicator that's my only catch with this lipstick but the formula itself guys it's beautiful so super long lasting it does not dry out your lips i absolutely love it i have two acrylic type of paint kind of red lipstick this is from makeup forever which is not cruelty free i believe i'm still very confused with respect to makeup forever because there is no information online like reliable information because peta doesn't list them at all and here is two faced melted lipstick which is cruelty free now this is in the shade 401 and this is in the shade melted strawberry they both have this sponge right here which you have to squeeze out a little bit of product that's what the makeup forever looks like this is one of those lipstick that i always always have in my bag so whenever i need a lipstick this is usually what i pull out and the two faced melted lipstick which was a rage a couple of years ago looks like this it's slightly more orangey toned and this is more cool toned this one dries down to a more or less matte finish and this is more like a lip balmy paint kind of a finish on your lips up next on my lips i have the motives liquid lipstick in the shade sorry not sorry motives liquid lipstick is one of my favorite formulas and it is very liquidy while going on your lips super duper pigmented and super duper comfortable and long lasting on my lips i have the sephora liquid lipstick i think they are called the cream lip stains yeah and this is in the shade 01 this is also a brilliant formula unfortunately sephora is not cruelty free very long lasting very comfortable on the lips i've got a full blown review of these liquid lipsticks if you'd like to see them check out this video right here and i gave these two a little bit of time to dry and this is their finish next up on my lips we've got the balm liquid lipstick in the shade loyal the balm liquid lipstick kind of reminds me of the sephora liquid lipstick except that it's a little bit more watery and a little bit more drying the only problem is when it dries it just starts doing that butthole thing in the middle of this lip i believe that a lot of liquid lipsticks have that problem but i just felt like i had to tell you about it next up on my lips i've got the newest addition to my red lipstick collection and that is by lady burgundy how beautiful is the packaging right this is a shade in rita and that's what's on my lip they can be a little drying as time goes by but they stay put on your lips throughout the day looks beautiful throughout the day the only problem is if you pile on a little bit too much it can ball up while drying next up i have the shade called rekha also from lady burgundy on my lips this is slightly more deeper more whiny more brown than rita it's just so seasonal especially for fall winter season that warmth that you need guys that's what this is it reminds me of the color of the round red bindi and it goes on in a very very creamy delicious manner and dries down to a powder matte finish just like this one obviously they are, i mean they're the same brand so so those are all the lipsticks that i wanted to talk about today i believe i just spoke about 17 lipsticks and swatched 15 of them on my lips and now i want to quickly talk about the four lip liners that i use most of the time with or without the lipsticks that i just mentioned the first one is this lip liner from the balm and it's in the shade boyfriend material the second one is from gerard cosmetics how gorgeous is their packaging in this beautiful metallic gold and this is in the shade immortal and then i've got this makeup forever aqua lip in the shade 8c and finally from deborah milano i've got the shade zero 
one. Some of the times, guys, I don't even wear red lipstick. I just apply the lip liner as my lipstick and call it a day. Guys, I was moving these heavy boxes and my arms hurt so bad right now. I can't even... Like, I can't do that. Uh, and our moving just started. I have no idea how I'm gonna do all of this. But I shall see you on my channel tomorrow for the second day of 25 Days with Mr. J. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I shall see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining me today. I love you.